Calculate the moment of inertia of a uniform disc and a uniform solid cone. So we can assume the density of copper to be rho. So we need to calculate this inertia of disc with respect to this axis. So let's take a mass which is equidistant from the axis. So we'll take an elemental ring. So now every every small mass on this on this ring is at the same distance x. So if the mass of the ring is dm, then small moment of inertia di due to that ring will be dm into x square. And dm will be rho dv. So dv is 2 pi x dx times b. So now we just integrate x goes from 0 to r. We get the answer in terms of rho. Or we can write this as rho into pi r square b into r square by 2. So this is the net volume pi r square b times rho is mass. So the moment of inertia of a disk about its axis is mr square by 2. Now let's calculate for the cone. So it's given that the radius of the cone is r. And that's all. That's all is given to us. So about the axis, we need to find the moment of inertia. So again, we are going to use this result now, which we derived for the disk. So we'll split this cone into small, small disks. And for one disk, we'll calculate the moment of inertia about the axis and then integrate all these disks to get the final moment of inertia. So let's say our elemental disk is at a distance x. So this, uh, if the cone angle is theta, half angle is theta, then this distance becomes x tan theta. And the height of the disk, disk we are taking as dx. So using this formula from 1, di is equal to dm into r square by 2 for the disk. And radius is x tan theta. So this is dm into x tan theta whole square by 2. Now dm is again rho into dv. So small volume of the disk is pi r square dx. So r is again x tan theta. So we'll put the value of dm also here and we can see that uh, we have still a term of theta. So assuming that this for, for this cone, it we are taking it as constant, so we'll take this out and this becomes this. But we know tan theta can be written as r by h. So when we put that value of tan theta as r by h, the term simplifies to be pi rho r4 by 2 into h by 5. We don't want h and mass is given to us. So let's recall that the volume of this of the cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h times rho is mass of the cone. So h will be included in that mass times 3 r square by 10. So this gives the moment of inertia of the cone to be 3 m r square by 10. All right.